welcome to a brand new series that I have just officially dreamt up in Gran Turismo PSP. And that is a World Circuit Tours event uh, where I go to a bunch of world real race tracks, hit a bunch of AI race cars against each other, and see who wins. Um, I was going to use the 190E for this, but it seems like I keep getting that HPA Motorsports Golf. So I'm going to use my trusty 01 Castle Tom Supra so that can actually so that I can actually get a racing field. Eey. Okay. So it looks like our field today will be the 350Z and the Lister Storm. Lister, the highest finishing Lister Storm will take the I guess you could say points, because you never know who's going to appear the most. Okay, I'll get back to you with a replay. Ready. Start. We zoom on the leader currently. The 350Z LM comes to the corner, followed by two Lister Storm V12s. Here comes the LM, 350Z, just pulling away from these Lister Storm V12s. Just look at them go. See that second place Lister Storm V12 trying to keep up along with a third place one, but it just looks like that 350Z is just too quick for him. Here comes the 350Z around the corner. All the Lister... Mr. Storm B12 seems to have gotten into a fight. Round the chicane as they go. I'm just like creeping the back a shot. <laughs> Come to 350Z now. On the straight. And now followed by the Listers. As the LM Nissan is flying. system goes three points for first, two points for second, and one point for last. Now the 50 Z is just taken off. is coming towards the finish. That second place list of storm is just so far behind at this point. Here comes your winner. And that's that. Hopefully we came in last because that's how it works. So now it's time to get on to our next race. Now, race two of the series will be seeing us going to the Valencia Racing Course, where the 350Z will now take on an option Stream Z and the Mercedes-Benz CLK Touring Car, who will be making his debut along with the option Stream Z. See so, yeah, how this one goes. And here we go for the next race. This is race two in the series. Okay, Mercedes currently in the lead, and here comes the Z. LM race car into the lead. So they are coming to the first corner. Looks like the Z LM race car is taken off into a gigantic lead. CLK is not going very fast with those corners, but the option stream Z is not looking very good through here. That looks like it's going to be another win for the 350Z LM. That's going to give him a gigantic lead boost. The question really is who's going to finish second now? 
Will it be the CLK or will it be the Auction Stream Z? Well, it looks like it's going to be the CLK G. CLK is going to finish second, folks. Here we are coming towards, it looks like, near the end. Coming up to just a few more corners to go. Three of the ZLM. Have it. No problem defending itself, as you can hear my castle Tom Super just boring in the background. Towards the home stretch. Coming to the final, coming to the, uh, final section of the track, I believe. We've just got one more turn, little section, and then I believe he crosses the line. Looks like the CLK finishes second, and that option stream Z is really tingling. Here comes the 350Z towards the finish line. He's on the finishing straight. I fin I started like 20 seconds behind everyone to make sure I wasn't in shot. Here's the Merc finishing very far behind. The Auction Stream Z finished so far behind that even I was about to cross the line. Finished. So that's that. It seems we have a new entrant in race number four around the Le Mans circuit. The V12 Lister Storm is returning along with the 350Z LM, but the Toyota Wood One Tom Supra, the first JGTC to take place, has appeared. Of course, apart from me. Ready. Here we go. Ready. The lead car for this race on pole was the Wood One Tom Supra. But the current reigning OG champ so far is the Z Concept LM, who has not missed a single race. But that Wood One Tom Supra looks pretty quick. Maybe that Z Concept LM is going to have a struggle today. Now, Lister Storm V12 does not seem very far off. Ah, uh, never mind, it's pretty far off. But don't worry, we've got a gigantic straight coming. It'll be interesting to see how these cars handle the big most on straight. Here's a good one, Tom Supra, onto the straight in first, being followed by the Z Concept LM. On board the Lister Storm, on board the ZLM, on board the Wood One Toms. Now coming towards the end of the straight. Wood one time super breaks away again. 350Z in chase. Well, Lister Storm V12. Poor man is stuck behind. Uh, there's the Captain Tom Super still chugging. Like the good old Z Concept LM has met his match as this wonderful Supra makes its way closer to the finish line. Endless Storm B12. As expected, it's pretty much crap, so it's slow.
So this would this would technically be the first race that the Z Concept LM, the 350Z LM, did not win. But it looks like it's going to be another s sad Lister Storm last place. Well, technically, he got the Lister Storm was given a second place by default in the first race of the series. At least he still gets to make a leaderboard. That 3BZ is not far behind. The Lister, hmm, just tailing the field at this point. Coming into the final section of the track. As we know it, down to the final corner. Z Concept LM wants to put up a good fight, and there's a Supra. Capital Tom's 01 again. Here comes the Wood 1 Tom Supra to take the flag for three points in his first ever race. And he has won it. And the ZLM has crossed the line. And here comes the Capital Tom Supra out of nowhere. And there it goes. It's through the sand into a wall, <laughs> and across the line. <laughs> now, the... Th let's see, this is the fourth race in the series, and it's going to take us to the Fuji Circuit 2005. We have two... We have one new entrant, the, Niz the Nissan Zanavi Nismo GTR 03, and then two returning racers, the Mercedes-Benz CLK Touring Car 2000 and the Wood One Tom Supra 03 who just won the last race. This is the first race in the series that the 350Z LM will not be attending. Ready? Start! Yeah, that's enough waiting around. It's just some behind the scenes at this point. I'm just gonna fool around here. I'll get back to you on that replay. <laughs> okay, and now for the re for the race, I should say. I'm currently on board the Zanavi Nismo, who is now trying to fend off the Wood One Tom Super, who has overtaken the CLK race car. I apologize for music in the background. My phone was, uh, my phone was being a bit pissy when I tried to turn the music off and decided that when I turn music off, nothing can be heard. So if you want to hear the cars, the music had to be on and I have to figure out how to fix that. Looks like the Zanavi Nismo is ruling, showing its dominance to the Woodworn Tom Supra who dominated the Lamont event. So it looks like the new entrant might get a victory here, but that CLK has suddenly stepped his game up from his last utterly de depressing performance at the Valencia Racing Circuit. But it's not quite good enough. That's an Avi Nismo flying. Don't know what Nissan or Nismo themselves did to that thing, but it goes. And that's no joke. That Wood One Tom Super may be trying to close in, but it can't. It's the um, DTM CLK just trailing the field. Capital Storm Super was really quick here. The Navi Nismo, Wood One Tom Supra, and the CLK DTM. And then me. The Navi Nismo coming through that corner, the Wood One Tom Supra, and CLK DTM. Comes the Navi, comes the Wood One. Here comes the CLK. And here comes the Supra <laughs> that I was driving. It looks like the Zanavi's got enough of a lead to where even if that Wood One Tom Supra had their top end and a good slipstream, it won't be enough.
They do. They both finished. Finished. And that's that. The next race of the series will take us to the Infineon Dash Sonoma Raceway, where two new cars join the field. Those being the RX7 LM race car and RX8 Concept LM race car, leaving the Wood One Tom Super as the only returning applicant in this race. Two LM cars for the Wood One to fend off. Let's see if he can do it, folks. Ready? So, now for this race. Let's see how it went. We go to the race leader off the pole, the RX-7 LM. That Wood One Tom Super is sandwiched in between LM race cars. Them both being Mazdas, the RX-7 and RX-8. The RX-7 seems to have taken off. Can the Wood One Tom Super hold off the mighty RX-8? RX-8 seems to be pouring on the pressure for this Wood One Tom Supra. Well, it may not be the biggest. Oh, never mind that. Wood One Tom Supra has tried to catch the RX-7 LM. Is it going to work out? He's going for a pass, it seems. Oh, no. Not going to work. Here goes the RX-7. The Wood One and the RX-8. The RX-8 had a pretty good fight going in the beginning, at the beginning, but it started to die down more towards the mid-lap, I guess you could say. RX-7, powering on, along with Wood 1, and then that RX-7, now just a mere trailing being. He's got no chance of winning it. But does the Wood One have anything for the RX-7 coming into these last few sections? I think we're going to have to give the RX-7 his first victory in his first ever race. <laughs> I guess you just got to say that. Got to give it to the RX-7. What a performance. He wins his first race. The RX-8 ended up crawling, crawling back to a much closer finish there. I'm just going to put that down on our list. The RX-8 gets a, a sad last place, but he had a decent fight with second place, so it wasn't a complete battering like it usually is for the Lister Storm V12. Now, the fifth race of the series will take a... No, actually, this is the sixth race of the series, and it takes us to Laguna Seca where we now have the Z06 race car suddenly making his debut in this race. I don't think we want that. <laughs> I think we're going to try this again, because that's a bit of a... Uh, it's a bad race car. It's a classic car. It's not going to do anything against a freaking Zenobi Nismo. I know that's technically denying the Zenobi Nismo a chance at winning a race, but... I mean, that's a bit of a... kind of... Yeah, eh, build. Looks like it's going to be the Zanavi Nismo versus the Motul Pitwork Z. Uh, I think we can give it one more go. This is the final field, as long as we don't get anything stupid. I want to try and avoid as many duplicates as possible. That's the main reason. If it was Zanavi, Corvette, and then Motul Pitwork, I'd have done it. But I don't want any more duplicates. I don't want any more duplicates. I don't need two Lister Storm V12s. Now, finally I got that to work, three returning racers, them being the Option Stream Z, CLK, and the Zanavi Nismo, so this will be an interesting uh, race. Let's see who finishes second. Ready? I'm pretty confident in the fact that that, uh... Start. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how this ends. Well, 
time to see who wins this one. I'm gonna go with the Zanavi Nismo, because it has been a strong contender today. Was well, that the Silk GTR going for the lead? That is. Well, the Silk GTR has put Zanavi in its place. Can the Zanavi crawl back to the second? The Zanavi Nismo is going to try and overtake the Obstin Streams Ed, but he gets cut off. That Obstin Streams Ed is really holding the Zanavi Nismo back. Because look at that CLK DTM. Never want to race. He's going to get the victory here, it seems. Amazing. The car who always pretty much finished last in Pretty much all of his performances, except for one, gets to finally hold victory's share. I'm gonna give him a decent amount of points as he comes here towards the end of his lap. Of course, he was pretty uneventful. Zanavi Nismo was unable to overtake the option stream Z. What an interesting race. Money. We've got four more races remaining until the potential final, which will take at will take place at the Nurburgring. So we're gonna head to Suzuka for now. For a quick little race. Take a break. We're gonna take a break from all this fast-paced action. We're gonna hit the small little east course, not the west course, but the east course. We're gonna let everybody have a little bit of a cool down and just let loose. So what few cars are we gonna let loose here? The RX-7 LM, Wood One Tom Super, and CLK. <clears throat> Go for the next race. Woodwind Tom Super takes off in the lead. But that RX-7 LM is not going to let him by e go by easy. As the CLK might have to just take one for the team. But the Woodwind Tom Super seems to be telling the RX-7 that he's the boss as the CLK goes for a move on the RX-7 LM. What an amazing performance by the CLK. I mean, it's really on its high horse recently. This thing's really been showing off showing us what it's capable of doing. And the RX-7 LM is giving us a lackluster performance. Looks like the CLK is going to go for the Wood One Tom, Wood One Tom Super if he's got enough time. No, I don't think he's got it. He lost his momentum. But he really had it going there for a moment. I thought he could have had the Wood One Tom Super for about a second. Great, that's going to appear... <laughs> Cameo. Not good race. Man, that CLK really held its weight. I'll take those scores down. <clears throat> the next race in our series brings us to the second short track of the series. Pitting the Lister Storm against the RX-8 and 350Z. We'll see how it goes. Now for the Sakuba race. Let's see how that went. Here's the Lister Storm off the line in the lead. And the 350Z LM immediately takes the lead. And it looks like the RX-8 is going to try and battle him now. Can the RX-8 redeem itself after its poor first performance. I don't know, that list is from B12, looks like it wants to make a pass. 
this Arc Tape LM seems to be on the slower side of LM cars. But never mind, it looks like maybe it's trying to re. Maybe it's trying to carry its own weight. As Lister falls far and behind. But then, it doesn't seem to matter, and I don't care if my phone's at low battery. I've got a job. Oh shit, right in the Let's just get all that. Clear all my notifications. That's gonna still be an emulator down to that. Well, now we're coming to round off the final little short class, short course. We get an RX-7 LM. The Chevrolet Corvette Z06 race car makes its debut. And a Mercedes CLK. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Ready? Start! Oh, that wheel's done. Maybe the Corvette will be good here since it's a classic muscle car. It's meant to be good on the straights. This track is pretty much just straight and two turns. When I looked at the dots on the map, it looked like it was really close to the end of this race, so this could be an exciting one. Look at that wheel spin though. The RX-7 takes off in the lead with the Z06, following profusely. Z06 goes for the inside line, while the RX-7 tries to rip up the high side. That Corvette looks pretty quick, but the CLK looks out of its place. That Corvette looks like it's right in its zone. Can the Corvette make a pass on the, the RX-7? He's got a chance. He's going to go for it. He breaks too early. But here comes the Corvette. Oh, the CLK out of nowhere. Jumping up to second. Can he come off the corner to win? They're three wide. The Corvette outmaneuvers the both of them. What a move from the Corvette to take the flag. Amazing race. So now we are on to the final race of the series, where it looks like three possible contenders for the championship may be appearing for a showdown. 
This is where you gotta fight to get your win. See the ball break. I actually missed the replay itself. I have to rewatch it. But don't worry, I'll speed through it. So good, it's not. I had the lead in the first turn. Seven was pretty slow. It's too bad because it's the okay, but they could have used the extra points here. That really would have shoved them over the edge. In the final, I believe. So it looks like that was Zanavi. RX7 LM MMC LK DTM. Two depressing finishes in a row that should throw them out of contention. So, I'm going to calculate the top seven. Actually, there were eight competitors, so I'm going to go get the results quickly. So, leading the points going into the Green Hell entry, I guess the final race, is a 350 ZLM with an astonishing 11 points. Close in second is the Woodworn Tom Supra at 10 points, along with the CLK DTM, also at 10 points. Then, for the final results, in 4th place, RX7 LM at 8 points. In 5th place, the Lister Storm at 4 points. In 6th place, the Corvette 63 at 3 points. And at 7th, the Stream Z at 3 points. And in 8th, the RX8 three, at 3 points. So, let's get our Green Hell race ready. I had a scoring error. Actually, the Zanavi came in 5th, putting Lister in 6th, the Corvette in 7th, the Stream Z in... Yeah, 8th, and the RX-8 in ninth. Because the Zanavi isn't in the Dang it! It's literally two cars off. Now, finally after years of waiting, I can finally get the race started. The field isn't perfect because the 350Z concept race car was unable to make it.
Okay, now I'm set. Looks like the end of the grand finale is about to come. Two cars fighting each other for second and third. Must be the Austin Stream Z and the CLK, so I'm guessing a wood one Tom Super is about to come flying past the finish line. There it goes. I guess he wins the championship. Now the CLK can come across the What? The CLK came last? Oof. What a bad way to end it. Thanks for watching. Peace out. New winner is the Woodwind Tom Supra.